everyone how are you i think uh, you all are in uh, best of your health and enjoying your studies at the moment so we are here with uh, another question from uh, differential equation that is the partial one and uh, we are covering uh, non linear partial differential equation and in that we are now currently in type 1 or the first standard form whatever you say so this is a uh, an easy type to solve uh, this type of question provided you know how to use your basics well and uh, let's see how uh, we can solve this so we have p square plus q square equals to 1 how to proceed uh, with this type of question first step is always uh, that whatever is given okay that will obviously be a function of p and q in order to use type 1 so this is okay uh, p square plus q square equals to 1 but it can be made better how uh, you need to have function of p comma q equals to 0 right so from here on you can do something uh, usual p square plus q square minus 1 equals to 0 i hope it is better now it is looking exactly of uh, what a form is given f of p comma q equals to 0 now its solution let's name this equation number 1 so solution of equation number 1 is given by is given by what z equals to ax plus by plus c this is important let's name this too because we will make slight change in this solution okay uh you will uh, know soon that what changes will make now Uh, this is there now a, a new thing is introduced c is a constant obviously and b is also constant but here one more thing is there function of a comma b equals to 0 now how to get this function because again it's a new thing just a simple simple thing is there how to get this function just do some replacement replace this p what we had in function of p comma q by a and q which was there by b so from function of p comma q you can easily switch to function of a comma b so what will be our function of a comma b A square plus b square minus one equals to zero. A square plus b square minus one equals to zero. Perfect. Now, uh, one desire is there uh, in final solution. What we do uh, instead of having this three constant term a, b, and c, we keep c as a constant, but a and b we make this as a one constant just by writing a in form of b or b in form of a and that's why we have written this equation this equation is important in that aspect how uh, you can do that uh, i am writing b in terms of a so b square a square plus b square equals to 1 so b square is 1 minus a square b will be under root 1 minus a square plus minus you right or not right uh, that's not much important but this is b equals to under root 1 minus a square so once you have written b in terms of a come back to equation number 2 so from equation number 2 what is your z your z is ax that will be written as it is plus by 
सो बी इज प्लस माइनस अंडर रूट वन माइनस ए स्क्वायर एंड वॉट इज विथ बी वी हैव वाई प्लस सी सो दिस इज योर फाइनल सोल्यूशन टू बी टेकन केयर ऑफ ओके अगेन ए इजी वन वन थिंग स्टूडेंट से दैट वॉट इज दिस वाई यू रिप्लेस पी बाई ए एंड क्यू बाई बी एंड अनदर क्वेश्चन दे आस्क इज वॉट इज पी एंड वॉट इज क्यू सो यू शुड नॉट आस्क दिस लेटर क्वेश्चन बिकॉज यू नो वेरी वेल फ्रॉम द कन्वेंशन दैट योर पी इज डेल जेड बाई डेल एक्स एंड योर क्यू इज डेल जेड बाय डेल वाई and this will again help you in doing one thing if you differentiate this second equation with respect to x what you get you get del z by del x what is that equal to del z by del x you are doing partial differentiation with respect to x so y or let y term and the constant term will be uh, treated as constant so just differentiate this term you are going to get a and this as i told you is equal to p now similarly perform partial differentiation with respect to y so you are going to get this term is constant this term is constant you are going to get b and as i told you this is equal to q now this is the reason why we replace this uh, uh, p by a and q by b and why we do so we do so because in order to get a in terms of b or b in terms of a okay so this uh, type one is uh, no more difficult for you i think i have already done a question under root p plus under root q equals to 1 you can also try that try it by yourself uh, if you have understood from this uh, illustration how to solve this it's pretty easy function of p comma q equals to 0 solution is given by z equals to x plus by plus c now we get a function of a comma b just by replacing p by a and q by b okay why we get so uh, we get so so that we can convert go from three constant to two constant one of which will be c other one it's your choice either a in terms of b or b in terms of a that's completely your choice and my choice was i wanted to write b in terms of a you would have written a in terms of b no bad, no problem is there so z equals to ax plus minus under root 1 minus a square y plus c is your final answer i hope you understood it thanks and have a very nice day